what's up you guys welcome to the creatives conversation i am amber i am the brand manager here at helps Two, the company that puts on this podcast and i am here with my boss the ceo of the whole company this is gabriella Marte. <laughs> What, what, what? What, what, what? In the I'm house. <laughs> I'm like, oh do I be gosh. professional or do I just mm. be a total clown? A total it's clown. Hard. Yeah. You hard. always choose total clown. Why is it even a question? I don't know. I just. <laughs> Anyways. My bills are paid. That's all that matters. Yeah. We're Thank just here Lord. having fun, but also, you know, <laughs> bringing information, but also having fun. Right. And we are sponsored today. Yeah. Second sponsorship. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. <laughs> We're sponsored by Balanced Meal Prep, which is actually the business owned by Cherokee Town. Mm-hmm. Um, Amazing who, woman. Yes. She was on the show uh, like way back when we started. Yeah. Brought some really good wisdom about networking, about building your business, just figuring all of it out as an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. So her business, Balanced Meal Prep, um, provides you with step-by-step recipe videos where you're walked through every recipe, monthly printable grocery lists, and tips and tricks on what pantry items to switch out and where to get them cheaper. And you can check out Balanced Meal Prep at CherokeeTown.com. And since it is the new year, oh, happy was, new year! I was gonna say I love Balanced Meal Prep. <laughs> Sorry, but the, okay, I wasn't That's ready good. to move on. But <laughs> well, I wasn't. I wasn't moving on. Since it's the new year, oh yeah. And it's the new year. I know y'all <laughs> are trying to get on your diet, you know, oh, do better. Oh, we're moving on. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, sorry. you got to catch my drift sorry. here. <laughs> um, you know, y'all are trying to eat better. You guys are trying to, you know, Lose maybe you have a, a New Year's resolution. All the people that come to the gym all of a sudden. I know, right? And since, you know, if maybe your New you, Year's resolution okay. is to save money, so stop eating out, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's true. Catch my hint here. Balanced meal prep will help you out because, hey, you got recipes. You don't have to figure out, you know, what you should be cooking every week. It's already done for you. That's mm. like half the battle. You just have to go to the grocery store and pick up the stuff and cook it, you know. So check it out. CherokeeTown.com. Anyway, trying to rhyme, but it's not working out in my mind. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not. You're just going. nodding at me blankly. I'm like, OK, keep going. <laughs> no, yeah, seriously. So, she does amazing content. You want to check it out. Okay, definitely. So okay. anyways, um, yeah. So <laughs> it is the new year. We're it so excited. Um, and yeah, we just want to come through and talk about. Yeah. How to approach the new year. 2022. How to approach 2022. 2022. Yeah. Sorry. And so I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm just. You know, very confused by you today. I love balanced meal prep. I was like, uh, <laughs> good. It's just 7 p.m. right now. That's fair. So I'm just it's like, fair. You probably sh- didn't. My need brain the is shutting either. down. Uh, well, I, I had decaf. That's good. I'm glad you had decaf. <laughs> anyways, I'm glad I didn't have decaf because otherwise I would be even more confused. But anyways, oh, really? so yeah, we're gonna be just talking about you know what happened in 2021 yeah um which is crazy which That's yeah not 2021 anymore. i know right like where did the year go <laughs> i feel like it blinked and it's over and then just talking about you know what we're anticipating in the new year for personally for you know our business for your business that i'm a part of <laughs> for helps too you're a part of it yeah <laughs> it's not our business though i won't be saying right. all that it's all in how you see it sure but and you know talking about you know what we're expecting in the new year as creatives and yeah. what you should be expecting too so yeah let's go ahead and just reflect a little bit i want to start off with reflecting on 2021 so gabby if you had to describe 2021 in one word what word would you choose I just like how we're both wearing black and I just feel really distracted. So I just want to apologize, but I'm going to try. We're trying to have a whole podcast here. Can it be a compound word? Sure. I guess. Promises fulfilled. That's not a compound word. That's two words. But I think it it makes a compound word. But okay, sure. It's a phrase. That's a promise over 2021. But sure. But I've seen it come to pass. Okay. And And in what way? In many ways. Mm -hmm. Name one. Okay. I was doing a juice cleanse at the beginning of 2021 Mm -hmm. five days i had never done that before in my life and i was like (laughs) i'm gonna try it because we have this super amazing local juicery here in kansas city yeah named ruby jeans Mm. and i love what they do so i was like i'm gonna go 
I feel weird. Can I drop names like that on this? Yeah, why not? I feel like we're Ruby Jean sponsor us. Hey, (laughs) hello. (laughs) We're here for you. But no, seriously, they are incredible. It's like black owned, first of all. Oh, awesome. Incredible owner. I don't know him personally, but like I've, you know, seen him on social media and Mm. like, you know, done the whole like, hey, I love what you do. Cool. (laughs) Great. You too. And so um, that and then just what they do is incredible. So they prepare for you. I think it's like. I don't know what they're going to charge in 2022 for this, but uh, some people did it for like two days, three days, five days, seven mm-hmm. days, a month. Like, so I don't know. I might try a month. Like it could happen. So I don't know. I'll pray about it. In but, the new year. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 But in what did year. you do last year? I did five days. Gotcha. And so, and it wasn't spiritual for me. Like mm-hmm. the decision to do it was like just to cleanse my body. Gotcha. So, and that's different than, so I wasn't doing spiritual fasting, but I do believe in spiritual fasting sure. and I do spiritual fasting. Mm-hmm. But one thing you realize when you stop actually eating and mm-hmm. you have like these wonderful, I love it because you have a lot of juice and a lot of water. Mm. So you're not like just sitting there all the time. Like I'm so hungry. My stomach's growling. Like, no, like you're intaking a lot of liquids. Yeah. So I think it was like day three maybe. And I just, you don't have like so much time wasted on preparing and eating food anymore. I prepare a lot of food during the week. And so I literally just sat down and was like, I think I'm going to turn on a worship set. And I turn on a worship set and I just like, had been seeing ones everywhere, not to be a weirdo, but like <laughs> I really saw ones everywhere. Every time I looked at the clock, it was like 111, 1111. I, our church building is 1111. Wow. Yeah. The address, oh, crazy okay. stuff cool. was happening. I'm like, the ones are crazy. I don't know what's happening. And, but I did read this thing. I'm, I don't believe in angel numbers. It's not the faith that I, s- I subscribe to, but there was a biblical number mm-hmm. thing. And long story short, it said that one stand for alignment, um, awakening and promises fulfilled. Hmm. And I just was like, okay, that's like so many different directions. Can I get some like clarity? So I just left it at that. And then third day of the fast, I'm like, or the juice cleanse, I'm sitting on my carpet in my living room and I'm like, I'm just going to play some music and chill. And I just like kind of said a prayer. It was simple. I was like, God, what? What's up with the ones? Like, mm-hmm. let's be 100 right now. Let's be a whole buck. <laughs> and the Lord, I just felt like the Lord said, promises fulfilled. This is the season of promises fulfilled. And I was like, all right, here we go. Because <laughs> I feel like when I have these God moments for real, and I know this is not like a spiritual podcast per se, but I'm a spiritual, so I guess it's a spiritual podcast today. Um, I feel like God always releases a word over me that is not what I'm walking in at the moment. Mm. And in that moment, I was like, I don't have a mate. I'm like not making the money I want to make. Things are looking really dreary and dark, Lord. Like, what's good? Right. And so when this word came in, I almost wanted to laugh. But there's that one story. Who is it that laughs at the Lord in the Bible? Is it Rebecca? Rachel. Someone with an R. Someone who was old. Andre, do you know? No. It was someone who was, oh, I know this. She was... She was older. She was promised that she would have an a baby. It was or the mother of Isaac. Prophet Isaac came and said, what? "Man, Isaac? mother of Isaac in the Bible." Sarah. Sarah. Was it Sarah? I thought oh I was thinking Sarah. Gosh, oh. we... Dang, Sarah, mother of Isaac. Yes, uh, this is one. Okay. Oh yeah, Re- no Rachel. No Rachel is the wife of Jacob. So many people in the Old Testament. Dang. Oh my goodness. Dang. Yeah, yeah, you're right. See, this is one Sarah. thing I just want to say. See, I knew in my head it was you Sarah, but I didn't stop say learning it. when it comes to faith. That's yeah. all I'm saying. But no, anyway, it's true. <laughs> so she laughed in the Bible at the Lord, and like she got the Lord shook her up. So I was not mm-hmm. trying to do that. I was just being honest. Like Lord doesn't look like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna laugh at you. <laughs> I'm open. I'm open. And then I went on this journey, and no joke, I I met my partner like two weeks later. Yeah, like two or three weeks later. Uh. I literally like lost a job that was like crazy. That was making your life hard. It was making my life hard. And honestly, they weren't paying me enough to be honest. All about value. See our last podcast. You don't understand (laughs) pricing value, all that stuff. And then I got one that literally paid me. I got a project job that pays me double the amount. So that's crazy. And that they were the other job that left was paying me. And then, so I was like watching promises come to light like yeah. i started worship leading at a church as yeah. the director like and i mean helps too just kind of 
got into groove like right 2021 we started our podcast we released our book mm. like a lot of yeah. promises yeah that i felt like god had given me like became manifested in 2021 cool yeah so, sorry that was a long explanation but yeah promises fulfilled you asked a question that unlocked a whole chamber of craziness <laughs> and yeah. awesomeness well my word since you didn't ask i was but- going to but you didn't give me a chance <laughs> okay <laughs> try to breathe here <laughs> yeah <laughs> i guess you can have a second what's your I'll word just- amber my word <laughs> thank you for asking <laughs> would be changes um like justin bieber no girl no, you got no that like yummy, david yummy, bowie yeah. that's on his Stop changes it. album but like david bowie it's the a classic no for me. changes come on Anyways, I mean, more people know about David Andre, Bowie's you know about song David Bowie? changes. See, I'm saying we never know anyone Amber knows and all the people. David we know. Bowie is so famous. What are you talking about? Don't try about? to play me. He is so I like, famous. I like R&B okay. and soul music well, and hip hop. Forget you. Anyways. Anyways, this podcast <laughs> is a whole mess. I'm trying to reel it in. Reel it in right now. They're over here beatboxing. This is not I'm what not my gonna new year is going to be like. But mm-hmm. I can. <laughs> just being disrespected and interrupted <laughs> right and left sorry continue i deserve better than this i quit sorry i don't know you know <laughs> honestly i hope people don't judge me on this podcast i so. hope they do <laughs> wow fighting words kidding. anyways anyways security reeling it in right now so my word is changes just because there was a lot of unexpected changes and plans in my life like moving to kansas city um what Why did we discuss work? that in 2021 we did huh well it happened in 2021 i left my teaching job in 2021 unexpectedly that was a major change yes. um i wound up moving to kansas city in 2021 um, big yes. change um wound up getting covid a very unexpected change that almost killed me <laughs> yeah dang. um yeah I remember and that. then wound up having to change plans in a lot of other areas too so you know just a lot of things were thrown my way that i wasn't expecting expected mm. yeah expecting and just were they had to overall change, like had to adapt good changes or a mix for sure mix. yeah yeah i mean it was really good moving here i really enjoyed it you know um if you're watching this and we well, are watching this in 2022 but it's currently the end of 2021 when we're shooting this um well, we just told them happy new year you just I know. killed the happy whole vibe new year, but yeah it's actually, but we're lying to you well they already know <laughs> come on we talk about it in every vibe episode we're like killer we vibe shoot these killer way prior to when you actually see them don't they kill know. my vibe but the point is don't kill my vibe. Gabby, you're done. I'm cutting you off from singing <laughs> for the rest of the podcast. Sorry. Um, so the point is I can't. I'm sorry. Um, we're we're coming at you at the end of 2021. It's and 2022 I'm, to me, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm giving into this shenanigans. And I am still in Kansas City, but I'm about to move back to Tulsa. So She's the point is all, these vibes. all the changes because my life's about to change completely again. And yeah. Mine too. Yeah. You won't have a wonderful, lovely roommate anymore. She's my housemate. Who cooks you breakfast and makes you coffee. She cooked me breakfast like three times in the last six months. That's not true. That is not true at all. And I've made you coffee a lot. So ungrateful. No more than like seven times. Ungrateful. How many people, comment below if your roommate makes you coffee all the time because... We just need to specify. She's my housemate. We do not sleep in the same room. Yeah, but roommate, nobody actually thinks that roommate means sleeping in the same room. Unless you're like in college. And roommate. Dorms. Yeah, but like everybody knows roommates are my like, housemate. We share but the yeah, same y'all, living y'all hear space, me. but have our own rooms. No, I'm grateful. Amber was a great housemate Thanks. for these last six months. Yeah. Um, she's done a lot for the podcast and a lot on getting the book out there that we just released yeah. last year in sep- August, September. August. August. That was wild, yeah. a wild yeah. journey. She did a lot of work. So, so long journey. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been great. Yeah, now she's going back to Tulsa. Mm-hmm. She met Did a boy, him. y'all. Yeah, I met him in 2020, which was also unexpected. But that was 2020, so we're not talking on about my that. birthday. That was our first date. Yeah, it was on your birthday. Yeah, see, because you were in California. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, so our words for the year, you know. Promises fulfilled. Makes it sound like we had a pretty good year. I had a pretty I good year. I think so, yeah. Would you say overall good year? 
overall a, a great year great i mean year. but i'm an optimist for sure yeah so there were some low moments for sure that's fair yeah for sure i think you know i've definitely had lows and highs in this year too but what's your word for 2022 i don't know <laughs> you don't know do you know already um i don't know mm. but i do i know what i want out of 2022 yeah. i want freedom Nice. I want to I've been lacking in the creativity department. I want to like create more music. Mm, cool. Yeah. I want a wedding. <laughs> wow. That's for you, Andrew Track, if you're watching. <laughs> a wedding. You better figure that one out. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to buy a home. Yeah, that's awesome. Great. Big things. things big yeah, things next things year for us. Or this yeah. new year. Yeah. Yeah, this new year. I'm yeah. done with her. I know. I, f- I keep forgetting. <laughs> what is it going to be? Are we in 2021? Or we in 2022? are in 2022. We're in that's the when matrix. The people are watching it. <laughs> We're in the liminal phase in between. Sure. Anyways, so um, I actually um took a course last year, a little workshop with the great and wonderful Zach Winters, and he is a an indie artist who creates and produces his own music and tours and does all these great and things. courses. I didn't know that. And uh, courses, songwriting He's a great workshops. Musician dream workshop so i took his dream workshop and he sent at the end of last year or the end of 2020 he sent something to you know help reflect on 2020 and to prepare yourself for 2021 Mm. it was 20 questions and so i just want to go through a couple of those just for fun 20 questions for the new year yeah we're not gonna do all of them though because some of them are long okay but so and some of them are personal so some of them are like prompt for you like you to go well, maybe you should and- read them anyways and we just don't okay. answer them yeah for I sure be like i will definitely say pass. well sure we'll <laughs> read them and we can modify them for you know the <laughs> podcast because some of them are like write 20 things about the year and i'm like we're not gonna go through a list of 20 things each but we can do two you know That's fair. so anyways the first one is celebrate at least 20 things you've accomplished um slash that have happened in the past year in the following categories work money living environment, personal growth, health and recreation, community, family, and then God and spiritual health. So we're Mm. not going to go through all of those, but what is something, Gabby, that you are celebrating from 2021 in your personal life, specifically with work? Let's Mm. go with that category. Let's stick to helps too, specifically. Ah. Okay, yeah, because I do a lot of projects. <laughs> I think I have, like, if we're going to talk, like, different, like, businesses I'm a part of, it might be, like, three. Um, <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> yeah, it is. An entrepreneurship, I love it. It <sighs> makes sure. me happy. Um, Something you're celebrating. Oh, come on. There's a huge one just, like, staring you in the face. Is there? The book. Oh, well, yeah, the book. But that's, like, cliche answer. I'm celebrating <laughs> the book. It really whispered to me. The book. The book. <laughs> no, we yeah. Okay. So we book. did put out the book in 2021. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. It really was. I feel like that was a four year baby in my womb. So that was great. <laughs> um, I feel like we did a lot, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It's I would blur say, right now, to be honest. Yeah. I'm just celebrating our branding becoming on point in 2021. Yeah. And that which was, was all her. Yeah. That was my honest. job. That was my role. And so I took it on and I really got the hang of it. Like we, we, so we launched our podcast in 2021, which was awesome. And, um, just to see that give us more consistent content to put out on yeah. our social media. Mm-hmm. And so I was able to take that and then pull quotes from that and just, pull you know just different advertisements for our book and all that stuff and just really create an awesome instagram feed and facebook feed twitter feed all of it so if you're not following us at helps to media you should be following us because i think in 2021 we really crushed it with our branding and i think so too we wanted a vibrant brand for creatives and i just felt like it's not really like we wanted it to be modern but like created because it's like for and by creatives you know like to look creative yeah yeah, so it, it was really like this niche kind of like branding that yeah. we had to find. Yeah, but I we think found it, I feel like. Yeah, we. Our color palette while, is working. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it, for it me just looks least. fun. Like, I like you look it. at our page. Yeah, now, we want it to be fun. And it actually looks and like. Youthful. Yeah, it actually looks coordinated and fun. And like you can just tell who we are by our yeah, page, I feel I think like. It's which is exciting. It helps too. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, that one is very spiritual, so I'm going to skip it. <laughs> What is something you've been meaning to do this year but haven't? Is it worth pursuing in the coming year? Or so what is something you were many, meaning to do in 2021 that you haven't? Mm. But And is it worth pursuing in the coming year? Uh, you go first. Okay. 
Um, I would say for me, definitely like getting more into uh graphic design in terms of like with uh what's it called like digital art yeah so like illustrations I, yeah stuff. illustration like digitally because i mostly do all my illustrations by hand and then mm-hmm. find a way to scan it and upload it and turn it digital but i really you know this year or in 2021 i got an ipad pro and the apple pencils i got the tools i've been needing because that's been like kind of holding me back yeah but now i just haven't really pursued it like I would want to as an illustrator and you know it's kind of bummed me out a little but I definitely plan in the new year to really go after it. I actually have some goals for 2022 for that like yeah. related to like I want to create greeting cards and I want to create you know specific things that like actually push me to do it so yeah I'm excited to continue pursuing it but that's awesome yeah yeah I think mine's like similar in the creativity realm I want to just produce more music I feel like it's that season to like kind of I've done a lot of like covers and I've done a lot of like past music I mean I have a lot of projects out there Mm -hmm. but I just feel like it's time for the new and yeah I wish I would have done more in 2021 but the reality is is I put a lot of that on hold so that I could really achieve some personal goals yeah so yeah and focus on personal goals even the triathlons yeah and even the podcast yeah like you know us shooting with Andre every week (laughs) on the podcast (laughs) takes up your time that you would normally be shooting with especially like with so many business ventures but that's gonna change in 2022 so yeah it's exciting more room definitely um so what are at least three things you're proud of from this past year um so this is similar to the first question but i I guess we can just name one each yeah to keep it short i mean i am proud of the book the triathlon i'm proud of my sanity in the midst of so many moving pieces yeah that's Mm. awesome i'm proud of um <laughs> on a personal note honestly just being in a long distance relationship for the last yeah, six months that's not easy yeah it's been really tough so being able to stick through it and do it it's been good yeah and then i'm proud of um just the way i've handled a lot of changes thrown my way through helps too just like my role changing a lot becoming you know a full-time employee yeah and yeah proud of getting more comfortable being in front of the camera via this podcast yeah i know i was so nervous the first yeah you do what you do (laughs) i still don't like like introducing the podcast though like even right before we started rolling she has to take like yeah i'm just like (sighs) i just want to breathe (laughs) yeah like (laughs) let me get ready because i just get nervous i don't know what it is i think it's natural to be much more comfortable so i'm proud of that you have and sassy on camera oh my gosh my true personality coming out you know know. you watch our like very first videos and it's very professional and now it's it's like we're at each other's throat the whole time i'm kind no you're not absolutely not (laughs) (laughs) ungrateful (laughs) for my coffee in front of everybody i'm just kidding what i'm just messing with you oh your coffee sorry coffee making yeah um what is a big picture goal or dream that you've that you made progress on this past year yeah i'm saving for a house so i'm close that's awesome closer than i've ever been that's big yeah yeah um oh i bought a car this last year come on i saved a lot for that and in a very short amount of time that wasn't like i didn't make i made progress on it but i also like fulfilled it so yeah Yeah. that's great yeah it was cool it was a very big adulting moment big purchases i bought a car (laughs) i bought a car yeah (laughs) that actually won't break down on me i rode a plane (laughs) do you know that song no did i show you that song it's kanye west oh gosh (laughs) of course it is road plane okay (laughs) (laughs) no you're fine um what Oh, okay here we go what are three physical things or accompl- accomplishments you're thankful for this past year well you have an obvious one physical ones mm-hmm. yeah i did a triathlon mm-hmm. that was great she did that yeah no i mean since i moved to kansas city which was like four years ago i feel like i've just been busy and the culture is so different than yeah. california where i'm from and so the girl has you know become a little fluffy <laughs> but i mean nobody knows everyone's like you, you look fluffy? great no like yeah. honestly yeah but i was just like an athlete like right. i was really like right. running the mountains and stuff and so yeah doing that triathlon was like i'm back yeah then i was like my body hurts uh, and i have real. a headache <laughs> oh my gosh yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah just that's one right yeah Say you three. can just do one three. it's fine because i'm just gonna do one i take my <laughs> collagen and it has helped my face oh good a lot with your skin yeah 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 like the elasticity of my face yeah 
Neapolitan. So interesting. It makes me these Things in the that I would never know if, yeah. I, if I didn't And then I take a probiotic. Hey. That is like a liver detoxing probiotic. Mm-hmm. Great for the skin. <laughs> Once again. Good to know. <laughs> take notes <laughs> if y'all are like. I'm a nerd. I'm from California. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm just going to do one. I would just say regularly attending yoga classes has mm-hmm. really helped me. Are you a yogi? No. Okay. I don't really even know much of what we're doing. I just do it <laughs> and I just show up. <laughs> but like just the showing up, like I've been really consistent up until I got COVID because then my asthma like got way worse after having COVID. So that was a whole mess. But up until having COVID, like I was consistently going like two times a week. Wow. So, you know, that's definitely more that I can ever say I've done. And I've gotten more flexible from that, stronger from that. You know, even just like showing up to class and being like, oh, this is easier than it used to be. Yeah. Just like makes me really, just makes that's me proud. Awesome. Yeah. Just a little joy in your heart. Yeah, for sure. Um, What's, okay, so now we're talking about 2022. What's oh, okay. one physical thing you want to work on this coming year? <laughs> I mean, my goal is to... Maybe increase my workouts mm-hmm. in, at the middle of the year. Right now, I can't. But I will say, honestly, I just want to be consistent in the gym. Yeah. I love the gym. Yeah. I do. I do, too. You know, I like not going actually makes me feel like out of control, even emotionally. Yeah. Because I'm just like for not my mental getting, health. Yeah, exactly. I'm not getting the exercise that I need. And so it affects everything. But yeah, I would say um, for me, it would probably be just swimming. Like seeing you do your triathlon and talking so much about swimming. Y'all, she never stopped talking about the swimming. But I... No, it was a big mental hurdle. Yeah, even before you started training for your triathlon, back when I was living in Tulsa, I was swimming at the gym a lot and Mm. just like using that as really good cardio. Yeah, And so, you know, I really, especially after COVID, like I want to get my cardio back. That's great. And so I think that's probably the way that I'll go for it this year. That's awesome. Yeah. I have like low-key pool trauma, may I confess. (laughs) I was in the pool at Nameless Gym. Uh-oh. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yes. <laughs> and um, I'm swimming in this Olympic pool, and it's in the morning, and the sun wasn't up yet. And I was on the in the lane, the slow lane, for all the master swim, mm-hmm. which because I'm slow, y'all. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a great runner. I'm a great cyclist. I am not swimming. I can do it. I'm not going to die out yeah. on the lake. But it's just I'm not, like, a competitive swimmer. Yeah, yeah you don't you day. don't necessarily swim the fastest, but you can swim. I can swim. I did my little 500 meters. I got out of there. I was probably fourth to last, but I was in it. So <laughs> you did it. I did it. How many okay. people can say they did it? Not many. That's true. So. I will say. So I'm in this lane, and I was swimming, and I stopped at the end. And I'm like, you know how they have like the drains? Mm-hmm. I don't. I wasn't paying attention. I just put my hand like on the wall, and tons of like these little like brown bugs with the shells. Like June fell, bugs? Yes, fell into the pool. And I was oh. like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> no, you never told me that. Yeah, oh I still kind of think about it sometimes when I think about like Master Swim. No. It's probably why I haven't been back in a while. Oh, gosh. I just like think about me like taking a break and then putting my hand on the wall and then like watching all these bugs get into the water. And I go, that's so What gross. in God's tarnation? <laughs> Is that a thing? God's tarnation? Uh, somebody says that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what in tarnation? Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. That's this is like the most crazy. personal podcast I think I've ever done. I know, right? We're out here. You know, that's what we talked about. We were like, let's just do something more personal and fun. I mean, we are tying just because it's the new year. pursuit and, you know, our helps. And we think these questions will help you guys reflect yeah. and like be free in the new year and to ref- create better. Yeah, exactly. Reflecting will help you clear up your mind and think better. So if you're watching this, hopefully you're writing these questions down as I say them because th- yeah, they're you, great you could for journal reflecting about them later. Yeah. and moving forward. Exactly. Um, what is a dream you have for 2022 that seems humanly possible? Like not, not possible. No, but humanly, it is possible. It is possible. What's something that you can accomplish? Because sometimes we have goals that are like outrageous. Like there's no way I can do that in a year. But what's one yeah. that you actually can do? I want to, I want to see helps to grow, mm-hmm. especially like product line wise and um, definitely grow our marketing budget yeah. for ourselves. Yeah. I want to see, I'll go with helps too as well. I want to see our course get launched, Path to Influence. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, yeah, Actually, I would love yeah. to see. <laughs> we film those videos in 2020. I know, right? But they're so relevant. That's oh, yeah. Crazy. So We've been good. working on this so, thing for a while. I want to see that launched, and I want to see that, like, take off, really. Yeah, same. See a lot of sales on that. and yes, Just people too. getting more knowledge. we got to get that done. For sure. Um, Skip some of these. 
She's skipping. I know. Some of them are a little personal. Because she doesn't want to. Like about your them. love life. What's it say? What's it say? It says, what's the uh, three people you want to mentor slash love slash give to encourage more in, slash encourage more intentionally this year? Pass. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, mm. <laughs> I don't need to be naming names, but um, skip that. Oh, this one could be good. Who are three people you want to be mentored by next year, even if you don't know them? What do you want help with slash to learn from them? So this could be even people online, like YouTube people. So I would say I want to learn. I'll just name one to start. I want to learn from. Um. I can't think of the name. There's like this artist that I follow on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad because I should be plugging them. But I was I like know really intensely like, no, Who's sorry, it? sorry. <laughs> uh, it's not that me. Deep. Thank you. Mm. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, no, for sure. You, but that's it's my job. Right. I'm it's always happening. learning from you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really want to go after, like I said, my, my illustration, my digital yeah. art. And so there's this one artist that I'm subscribed to that does a lot of procreate tutorials that does, you know, just a lot of that stuff. So I really want to, you know, be mentored by her just by, you know, watching her videos more and actually like taking time to follow them and do them all the way to the end and yeah. learn something. That sounds great. Yeah. You know what? I want to be mentored by the Christo. Um, he's an incredible entrepreneur. Hmm. I probably won't be mentored by him personally because <laughs> he's famous, but, sure. um, but he has a pro group, like a master's group, and mm-hmm. I joined it last Ooh. year. So in 2021, and I I love it. I've learned so much, and I feel like I've grown a ton. Yeah. That's Who awesome. else? Um, Christo. Honestly, <laughs> or John. Christo. Was that his name? Christo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then I think just like I want to be around people that are fabulous, like just in general. <laughs> like I always flash back to when I was in college in Boston. There was this like cool woman at the church I was going to, um, and I won't name her because I love her and we're still in like great fellowship. But like she – was just so fabulous like always dressed to the t mm-hmm. like she wasn't like model skinny or anything but sure. she just embraced who she was yeah always smelled good and mm-hmm. like the way she loved like whenever i'd walk in the room gabby girl come here like and i just i want to be around people that love like that yeah and i want to love like that you know for sure so that's awesome yeah, yeah. just be around good people yeah yeah people I that encourage that. you to like to be yourself yeah. you know yeah, and I don't necessarily have like a name of a person in mind, but I would just love to be mentored in 2022 by, you know, just someone in the church too. Cause like, yeah. honestly, like, you know, moving back to Tulsa, I'm going to have to find a new home church and all these things. And so just finding yeah, community there, huge. like that's important for me for the new year. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what are two to three things you could act on that would help build slash maintain community slash friendships this year? Two or three things I could act on? Yeah. To build community or friendships. I would say definitely, again, because I'm moving back to Tulsa and a lot of my friends are in Kansas City, I would say definitely setting up, um, like being intentional to reach out, to set up phone calls yeah, or FaceTime, you know, whatever it is, so that I don't lose touch because it's really easy yeah. to be friends when you're in the same city when you're in the same apartment you know yeah, no, it's true. but like yeah. when you don't actually have to see a person or it's not convenient to see a person She's talking about me to actually like <laughs> you and some others i'm just kidding <laughs> you and a lot well, of other people yeah no a few others I'm i kidding. really keep my circle small so you know like it's definitely not personal when i don't like reach out to someone but it's like you know i really only have like three or four people that i stay in touch with so yeah, I just want to be intentional to actually like set up times and to be the one to reach out, not just wait, f- be reactive and wait for someone else to be like, hey, it's been way too long. Let's talk, you know, but yeah. like, I oh, want to yeah. be the one to be like, hey, how's it going? Like, can we talk soon? Right. I do that um, every week on Monday. My task manager, Asana. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> we love it Asana. It reminds me. Yeah. Sponsor us. I'm just kidding. I know, right? <laughs> we always say that like every podcast. We do Wait, because Asana. It, yeah. Well, yeah. Sponsor us. But also Asana really does save our butts all the time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I just. How we the know brain is not do. made for holding things forever. Exactly. Like, it's just get it out of there. So more creative ideas. Exactly. So it just lists everything for us and we are able to do. What yeah. We have I to even do. have it on my phone. If I think of something, I'm like, Oh, <laughs> <Put in a song. laughs> that's funny. Yeah. So anyways, long story short, I have every week on Mondays, Asana reminds me to intentionally pursue one friend. Hmm. 
So I just pick one person and I pursue them, um, whether it's like a quick text message, like, hey, thinking about you, praying about you or praying for you or like, hey, you want to get coffee or hang out? Yeah. Or like, How are you doing? So, yeah, I do that. And then just having this mentality of being thorough, I think as an entrepreneur, it's so easy to like get in this cycle of like, go, 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 go. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't have to be busy. Like <laughs> yeah. I can be present in a place like and when i'm here i'm yeah. gonna focus on the people in the room definitely and, like really give them everything that i have and so yeah in terms of like my bandwidth yeah moment, yeah absolutely so, that's yeah me. be thorough yeah be thorough in the moment for yeah. sure that's really good i could use some of that too i feel like there's just such a pressure sometimes yeah, to, to run like, around like a chicken somewhere when it's like oh i actually can just be here right yeah now. i'm and here right okay. now and yeah. that's it yeah Ugh, i love that mindset give us like what two more um yeah we're almost done with the list we are only 20 13 she skipped like 25 no i did not 25 out of 20 Uh, i skipped like four (laughs) that's true um what's one thing you plan to do next year that will matter the most in 10 years get married yeah probably same (laughs) get engaged um i don't know um yeah that's for sure a possibility i don't like to put all my eggs in that basket because nothing wrong with my partner he's phenomenal but i just like don't ever want to be that person that like leans so hard on one aspect of my life i'm not saying you're like that that's what i'm saying (laughs) um but some people are and so that and i think just really setting myself up for if i'm thinking of creativity and my business setting that up for growth and to bless others that's what i'm thinking i'm yeah. gonna try to push my financial situation to new heights so that i can bless other people that's awesome yeah and buying mm-hmm. a house also that's like that'll matter a lot in 10 years you know yep your first house how exciting i know i know wow. i'll be over all the time like come on you over. won't be able to get rid of come me come on over <laughs> come on over um, baby let's see what talent or skill do you want to see improvement in this new year or a curiosity itch you want to intentionally scratch or a little thing you want to learn? Ooh, that's crazy. That's a lot. That's a lot yeah. I <laughs> want to grow in singing. I put it in my asana. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then in May, I'm going to reach official. out it's for vocal asana. lessons again. Good. Um, because I feel like I'll have more bandwidth for that. Mm-hmm. And I started vocal lessons and it changed the game for me. Yeah. I was a good singer, like in terms of sound, pitch, style. Mm-hmm. But in terms of like dynamically doing it well, like from the actual like um, fundamental uh-huh. stance, I didn't know anything about fundamentals. Right. And then like just learning how to breathe, like really like do it properly. The game. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Change that game. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. And then I just like have an itch to learn everything I can about business. Mm-hmm. And I know like, because marketing. she's always watching marketing videos. At night. Especially while I'm working. Just all, yeah, but it's just always running, I feel like. I love it's, it. It's so fun to me. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a great way it. to learn. And I also want to yield my sword in terms of music. <laughs> your face. Yield your sword. That's my such a biblical term. My guitar is my sword. <laughs> it is. That was I such Christianese right now. Like, I looked at you like that because I was just like, if anyone here has not read. Oh, yeah. That's wield it. my That's sword. Oh, okay. I yield. guess. I said yield. Oh, wield. It's it actually wield, I think. But even so. You know what? I didn't think it was Christianese because I really think of my guitar as like break. I break through so many boundaries by making music with my <laughs> okay. instrument. Yeah. I'm sorry that people want to call me cliche. It's not cliche. Was it was just like sharing my feelings sorry. and thoughts. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I interrupted it's you once doing. after I was interrupted Judgment. 20 times today. But it's cool. Your turn. Oh, you're done? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <I've> been done. <laughs> okay. Um, I think this is crazy because I don't think I've shared this with anyone except maybe my boyfriend. Wow, but what I a really public space. I know, right? <laughs> We're internet. just sharing. <laughs> just sharing our go. hearts today. But like, I think I want to publish a poetry book. A oh, collection of my poems. You've told me that. Well, I haven't told you Sorry, that I, I want to do like it crazy. soon. That's awesome. Um, when do you think you're going to do it this year? I'm hoping so. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm hoping to at least get twenty twenty two framework of it and like get it ready to be published. Well, you just and saw us publish a book. I, exactly. So. That's why I feel ready. I've wanted to do this for years, but I'm just like, I don't even know. Like, how do you, do you have to have a publisher? Like, how do you do that? No. Now I know. You can be your publisher. I know. I can be an indie yeah. publisher. I'm really excited. An indie artist. I could, yeah. I can even use the same printing company we use because, you know, I figured out how that works. Like, yeah. Through all this you know, process. All details. Yeah. You and learn a lot podcast on that doing. too. If you don't know we how to do. publish a book we have published a book someone asked a question and we answered it we sure did yeah so like i just feel like i've gained the tools from publishing from helping with the publishing process of we don't need another marketing book 
Um, and so I feel like I'm ready to do yeah. my own. And I've, this has been a dream since I was like in middle school. So wow, that's awesome. yeah, middle I hope, school, huh? yeah, I hope I can just get together and do it. You can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what's something you did in 2021 that made you feel alive slash real joy? And how can you pursue, pursue that next year? And this is the last one from Zach Winter. So we love you, Zach. We do. Um, Thanks for basically coming up with the content for this podcast because <laughs> i did not you did <laughs> zach did uh you go first um it said something that i did in 2021 20, that made me feel alive yeah oh gosh <laughs> um you go first I'm, i gotta think about that yeah it's, it's a deep one i know i'm like wow i don't know it's really interesting hmm something that made me feel alive um, honestly, this is a, just is the first thing that came to my mind, even though I do a lot of things that make me feel alive, mm-hmm. but I went home to California where mm-hmm. I was born and raised and, um, yeah, there's something about getting away from all of the, the demands of life for like a week and sitting in your childhood home that like brings you back to like a grounding, a reality yeah. of like who you are, definitely what you're called to do, um, that life is actually quite simple. And, um, yeah, I think I'm just looking forward to in 2022 having more moments that inspire creativity and me and Mm -hmm. clarity of thought. And those moments don't have to necessarily be on a jet plane ride to another state, but, or country, but yeah, I also went to Belize. That was great. And that's, you know, refreshing, but yeah, I think that that is what I want to do more of in 2022 create moments even during the work day and mm-hmm. different things yeah, like that. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I think, um, the, just the first answer that came to my mind was, uh, just exploring Austin. That was really fun. That was my vacation awesome. this year. Austin is yeah. awesome. Austin is fun. I really had a good time. And so, you know, just getting to do even simple things, but just yeah. like away from work, away from distractions and just in a cool city, you know, yeah. and just even, other than exploring Austin and having a fun vacation, like just it really, to me, the things that made me come alive this year were the simplest things like having a routine. Like I just felt so alive because I was here and in Kansas city and I was like away from, you know, all that had happened in 2020 Mm. because in 2020 I was in Tulsa and it was just and Brazil, but that's a whole nother story, (laughs) but it was just a lot happening in 2020 and a lot of other changes. Um, but you know, being here and just finding like, you're talking about grounding from back home. Like I've found grounding here and just like having my own very independent, very, fun but simple life you know just like going to the grocery store and meal prepping and like going to the gym and going to yoga and just spending my time in the morning in the word and you know yeah just figuring life out in a very simple slow-paced way i love the slow pace i'm not gonna lie i'm a cali native yeah uh near san fran is where Mm -hmm. i grew up and i think we just it was so fast Mm -hmm. um but I, I enjoy the slow, simple. Yeah. Because I just feel like you have more time to focus on what's really important. Absolutely. It's just what I prefer. Yeah. I don't think either there's one that's better yeah, than Yeah, one's other. not bad and but one's not yeah, good. it's just what I prefer. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I think these questions were valuable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so if you liked these questions, um, you know, shout out to Zach Winters. Go follow him on social media. He's, I think, just type in Zach Winters. You'll find him. <laughs> With a um, Z-A-C-H, right? Yeah, Z-A-C-H. Zach. Like and that. check out his music. Winters. He's an artist. He's an indie artist on Spotify. Super cool. Um, and just anywhere you listen to music. And yeah. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Yeah. We hope that you guys, despite like what your answers are, we feel like 2022 is a year that you can really step into something new if yeah. you want to. So, Absolutely. you know, I just want to encourage you, no matter what 2021 was for you, whether it was horrible, whether you felt like you didn't have the resources that you needed, I feel like this is a new slate. So mm-hmm. it really is. Every day is a chance. And so to see your dreams come alive. And even though you might not be where you want to be, if you just take one step every day, I really believe that it could all change for you. Yeah. Like in a year you'll look back and be like, well, I cannot believe where I'm at right now. So yeah, if you're discouraged, I just want to encourage you. You have something that nobody else on the earth has the way you see life, the gifts that you have, even though someone else might do what you do, it is not the same gift. Mm -hmm. Like the way you see it, the way you do it, your voice, 
your mind. It's just really unique. Nobody else has those things. So go forth and use them. Don't hold back. Don't wait for a moment. Do it now. Okay. <laughs> so with that, do you want to end this? No, go for it. You're you're I on a roll. In this thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. And if you're on the podcast app, make sure you favorite this podcast. Come back for more. They're not all deep in like super like what kind of like emo questions like this, but emotive questions. Is that nice? Do what? <laughs> but we have a lot of like actual like very technical advice like yeah. we did one our last one was on pricing um the one before that we interviewed lexi bradley and we talked about man we talked about so much like finding your purpose mm-hmm. what that looks like mm-hmm. we just have so many podcasts how to find leads yeah and i love that about the creatives conversation anything goes it's like, so diverse how our to prepare for the new year yeah how to get like how to prevent burnout leads, how to prevent burnout i loved that one how is social media good or bad right oh okay. by the way people i asked on my story today because that episode just came out today yeah um the time we're recording the this. is social media good or bad i asked people on instagram on a story poll whether or not they think social media is bad or good and people voted that it's bad on a social media app i'm just like how are you going to be on instagram saying that instagram is bad but you're using it right now to tell me that you think it's bad so it's hilarious what is that one saying like I don't do what I want to do, and I do oh, what like I don't Romans want to do. Like Romans 7. She's describing <laughs> the Man, entirety of Romans 7. Sermon today. I know, right? <laughs> okay, well, we're going to cut it here. We love you guys. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll check you later. And if you ever want help, just, like, reach out to us. We're here for it. So, yeah. Love y'all. See you later. Bye. Bye.